Hi everyone, this is a short tutorial on how to create this smooth zoom in effect uh, using bubble.io. So you're going to start by adding a shape inside a blank canva and you're going to rename the shape as background image. Uh, you can change the style and it has to be an image background for the example that I'm working on. So just pick any image that works for you and upload it there. Once this is done, you're going to add a second image, which is going to be the overlay and we're going to rename it overlay. It's probably easier and we're going to use a gradient and here you're going to be able to use whatever colors work for you. It's just so that if you have text on top of that image, it just stands out better. So here I'm using a very simple overlay with just uh, black on white um, and transparent. And then you're just going to drag in a text item, uh, style it the way you want, and it's going to be the text that will be on your card on hover. So once you have your free items, you're going to select them and group them and select a line to parent container. Once you're there for each item, we're going to resize the width properly. So first I'm renaming the group, group cards. And here I'm going to decide on a fixed width and a fixed height for my card. It's easier to work on it that way. So for the overlay, it's going to be exactly the same, but here I'm going to pick a fixed width of 100% and I'm going to do pretty much uh, the same with the image, except I'm going to use the min width and put it at 100%. And for the text is also going to be 100%. And then I'm just going to get all over it for the height. I'm just unchecking that box and removing the minimum height. So it would just fill the whole card group. Um, yeah. So I'm adding little margins so that it looks a little bit more aesthetic. And I'm changing the text color so that it stands out nicely on the overlay. So I got my group card now. I'm just going to add some roundness, roundness. So that's only for aesthetic purpose as well. Um, you don't have to do that, but yeah, I'm just adding it to every item. So the background image, the overlay and the card itself. All right, now we're going to start working with custom states. Uh, we have to use custom states because the hovered normal hover states uh, on bubble doesn't let you adjust the size of an element. So we're recreating a custom state that is going to be called is hovered and we're going to assign it a default value of no, exactly like I did before. Then on the background image, we're going to add a condition that said that if the group card is hovered is yes, then we're going to change the min width and make it slightly larger. So instead of 100%, we're going to go to 110%. And here it's super important that you make sure you're working on the is hovered custom state that you created and not the default bubble is hovered state, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add some transitions to smoothen the whole process. And in order to do that, you just go in the appearance tab of your um, element, the background image, and we're going to select min width and we're going to adjust that to 400 milliseconds uh, with the ease default preset. And now it's time to start adding some of the workflows. So you're going to go in the workflow tab and we're going to create a do when condition is true workflow. And the condition is going to be group card is hovered and this is where we're using the default bubble preset for the is hovered group and then we're going to go and set the state of an element and the element is going to be group card again and then we're going to set this is hovered custom state that we just created to yes so every time you're hovering the bubble is detect detecting that you're hovering we're going to change the custom state and we need a second workflow that goes the opposite way so if the group isn't hovered then we set the is hovered custom state to no. And we need to change this so that it runs every time and not just once. So from there, we have pretty much everything set. Um, I'm just going to edit a little bit the layout so it looks a bit nicer when we test it out. And we're going to preview what it looks like for now.
but yeah, okay. We're not there yet. <laughs> you see there are some issues with the image that is kind of jumping back and forth. So the first thing that we're gonna do is try to stabilize that image. So I'm gonna fix it in the center and I'm gonna check the center, the image checkbox and the make image as wide as parent element. So this should already help out. Let's check it out. Yes, all right, it's much better, but you see we still have some issues with the image that is going pretty much over, like, yeah, the image is overflowing the container. So I'm using some custom code here to fix that because Bubble doesn't allow us to override this setting. So if you dive a bit deeper with the cons console, you're gonna see that the issue is related to this overflow visible uh, state that we have for the group. And we have to use custom code to hide that. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it in the description. You can reuse it. Uh, and we're just gonna, yeah, override with the little important um, selector, the CSS. So from there, we just got our new HTML element and let's test it out. Yes, here we are. Uh, it seems to work, it's smooth. The transition is smooth and yeah, it's, it's fast. So. That seems great. I'm just going to show you how to create a second card if you want to have more cards on your page so you can just tag along uh, if you want to have several of those. So here I'm just duplicating with the workflows and I have two card groups. I'm just going to rename the first. So I'm trying to group those two cards into a single group. Um, and renaming this one to group card two, and yeah, just adjusting the layout a little bit, having some gap spacing for the columns, and there we go. So we got our two little cards, and now we need to duplicate basically all the workflows that we created for the first one, so we have them for the second one. So I guess you already understood at that point, you're gonna have a lot of workflows if you have a lot of cards on your page. So I don't recommend using too many of those. It's really like, a very nice user interface feature, but it's not that useful. So don't exaggerate with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just duplicating the workflows and here I'm selecting the second group instead of the first one. Um, and yeah, setting the state of the second group as well instead of the first one. All right, let's test it out. Yep, looks good. So both are working uh, as expected. I'm just gonna change the image so it looks a little bit nicer. And yeah, you can just get there, change the text, change, change the image, change the overlay settings and colors for every card that you're using. Uh, it's very straightforward. And I think it's, it, yeah, it gives a very nice look to your, to your app. So voila, I hope you liked it. I hope that was useful for you. And yeah, let me know if you have questions, feel free to comment and subscribe. Thanks.